Wow! Ah! Oh. Oh. It's a good entrance, right? Be afraid, Doctor. Because everything is about to change forever. So the Master's back and he's going to take Jodie, the Doctor, back to Gallifrey to see the ruins. But for me, that's just the start of the story. There's some serious unfinished business and he's going to take the Doctor on a journey that she never thought she'd ever go on. <laughs> Look upon my work, Doctor. Despair. It's the first time seeing it ruined with him and, and, and hearing the level of destruction. Remember how we used to run through those streets as children? All gone now. There is a delicious, childlike quality to, to the master, especially this version of the master. Come on, ask me why I did this. Why did you do this? Not telling you. <laughs> I think at that point she is, she's not going to be a willing participant in, in what's going on. And he wants her to sort of be much more intrigued by everything. It does take a lot of strength for the doctor to not feed him that, because in feeding it, A, she's going to find out things that are potentially heartbreaking from the physical destruction of Gallifrey to finding out what he's actually done. But also, um, the, the games that the master plays and the mind play continually is exhausting. And so it's a self-protection as well as not wanting to, I suppose, feed the devil. Oh, crack a smile. Proud of yourself? Definitely. All this death finally made you happy? Ecstatic. And has it calmed all the rage? What's interesting about his portrayal of the master is that the actor, Sasha, disappears completely. I don't see Sasha anymore. And the uh, sort of the evil and the psychosis with which he plays the master and all the little ticks that he brings to the role and the kind of the, the sort of devilish glee and frustration and anger and pain. It's an incredibly layered performance. Can you feel a new era dawning, Doctor? For Gallifrey. For Gallifrey. For the Time Lords. For the Time Lords. For the end of the universe itself! For the end of it. I was really keen on, you know, taking the master in as dark a place as possible. And as fun as place as possible. So yeah, that's been such a such a joy to play in this season. He gives so much in every scene, but continually surprises. And so the chemistry, it, it's a very playful environment with that kind of knife edge. And the history between us does mean something. It's the rage and pain in my heart. Amidst these sort of huge universe-destroying stories, they never lose sight of the emotional truth of the characters they're playing in each scene. You always behaved like you were different, like you were, like you were special. And you were. I think they're a perfect pairing. And it's lovely to go through the show and look at different actors and, and masters, whether it's sort of Anthony Ainley and Tom Baker, or whether it's John Sim and David Tennant, or, um, you know, um, Michelle Gomez and Peter Capaldi. It, that, that kind of buzz that you get, I think you've got that with Jodie Whittaker and um, Sasha Dewan. I have a right to know my own life. <laughs> All right. But I'm not sure it's going to make you happy. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.